So now we'll discuss about an important topic that is what are enzymes and also we'll discuss what is the active site and also what is the allosteric site and how they are different. So coming to the active site, we all know active site is nothing but a site on which the substrate binds. For what it is binding? That is the enzyme activity. When we tell enzyme activity, what are these enzymes? So enzymes are the biomolecules or the biocatalysts which take part in the reaction but they do not undergo any change in themselves. Means they convert substrate into product without undergoing any change in themselves. They are biocatalysts. And almost all the reactions in the body are catabolized by the presence of the enzymes where substrates are converted into product. Now to do this, the substrate has to bind on the enzyme. Now the peculiarity is they cannot bind anywhere on the enzyme. So they have to bind at specific site where substrate will bind, where the substrate will undergo its changes, the structural changes which will lead to the synthesis of the product or conversion of substrate into a product. So this is the active site and one important feature of the active site is they are very specific to their substrates. They don't bind with other substrates like for example hexokinase enzyme they bind with only hexose carbohydrates. If it is a glucokinase enzyme they bind only with the glucose. So the enzymes are very specific in nature and the binding of this substrate to the enzyme is not permanent it is a temporary and it is also non-covalent where it will help in the conversion of substrate to product. Now one more comes is how it is different from allosteric site. So allosteric site is nothing but other site than the active site where the allosteric inhibitor or the activator will bind. It is like an ignition on your bike. So it is other than the active site, the engine where the product substrate is converted into product but here there is one more site that is called as allosteric site which is other than the active site where the allosteric inhibitor or the activator will bind. What is the function of this? This will either increase the rate of reaction or it will decrease the rate of reaction. So always remember that active site and allosteric site are always different and binding of substrates to the active site is always non-covalent, temporary and it helps in conversion of substrate into its product. So this is about the enzyme, active site and the allosteric site.